do you want to know what the best golf launch monitor on the market is? Do you want to know which one's the most accurate? Or perhaps the best one for most people? Or the best under $500? Well, I got good news for you today. That's what we're covering in this video. I've reviewed almost all of the best golf launch monitors under the $3,000 price point, and uh, I'm going to share my findings with you. So no matter what you're looking for, under what budget, there's probably a launch monitor for you. We just gotta help you figure out which one that is. And that's what you're going to get in today's video. It's probably gonna be a long one, so let's not waste any time, and uh, let's jump right into it, shall we? Okay, so real quick, if you are new to the world of golf technology, you may find yourself wondering, well, what is a golf launch monitor? Uh, to put it very simply, it is a device that you set to the side of you or behind you, either at the range or in a simulator or in your garage, uh, where it's going to tell you the different metrics to your golf swing. It'll tell you what your spin rate is. It'll tell you how far you hit the ball. It'll give you all sorts of data points that hopefully are going to help make you a better golfer. A golf launch monitor will do this using one of two technologies. It'll either use Doppler radar or high-speed cameras. And in some cases, it will use both of those things to give you the most accurate results. Now, it can be difficult to compare one device to another because often they have wildly different feature sets. Some will have spin rates, some won't. Some are accurately measuring the statistics, and some are just kind of taking a guess based on an algorithm. And what you need is going to be different than what the guy down the street might need, or what a pro golfer might need. And a lot of it, frankly, is going to come down to your budget. So a few things you should keep in mind while you're trying to figure out the best golf launch monitor for you. First off, accuracy. How important is it that it's actually pinpoint accurate down to the yard or down to the half a yard? Now, you might say it's really important, but the reality is if you get close, it's probably going to be fine for you. If you're taking it to the rage, if you're at home, if it's within a few yards, you're probably going to be good and you're going to save a whole lot of money if you don't need it to be that precisely accurate accurate. Another one to think about is portability. Are you going to set this up in your garage and never move it? Or are you planning to take it to the range every time you go out to the golf course? Or what about price? Are you thinking like under 500 bucks? Or are you thinking like 10, 15, 30 grand? Because some of them, they can get that expensive. We're not going to be talking about those here. If, if you're looking to buy a $30,000 launch monitor, there are other people that will review those. We're keeping this under $3,000, so they're kind of more in range of the average golfer. Another consideration is ease of use. Some of these literally take 30 seconds to set up and you're good to go. Others are going to, well, they're going to require some fine tuning. So if it's important to you to get going as quickly as possible and not have to fool around with a cumbersome device, some of the ones we're going to talk about today are definitely going to be a better fit for you. Two more things to think about are simulator compatibility and fun. Are you planning to use this as an at-home simulator? If so, some of these devices will work with some of the more popular simula simulator companies out there and some of them won't. And then fun. For me, this is one of the most important things I look for in a launch monitor because Honestly, like the range, it can be kind of boring for me. So I use the launch monitor to make my range time more enjoyable. So some of these are going to have additional features that are going to make it more fun on the range or more fun to hit balls in your garage, whereas others are definitely gonna be more aimed towards a professional that is only there to dial in their numbers and try and get as accurate results as possible. And some of them do both. So as you're watching this video and as you're inevitably spending hours online watching YouTube videos and researching all the products, just think about which of those things is actually the most important to you. Because that's definitely going to dictate what the best device is for you. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's, uh, let's get down to it. Let's start talking about specific launch monitors to help you figure out which one is going to be best for you. Let's start with the budget category. This is $350 or less. And the recommendation I have is the Swing Caddy SC200 Plus. So this is actually an older model, but uh, the Swing Caddy SE 200 Plus, it's like right at $350. It doesn't have a fancy app, but you set it up right behind you and it's got a great display. And if all you're trying to do is get pretty good numbers as easily and as quickly as possible, this is one of the best devices out there. Of all the products we're gonna talk about today, setup on this one is literally the easiest because there's no app you've gotta pair it to. We're not talking Bluetooth. We're not doing any of that fancy stuff. You set it like eight feet behind you, you hit the ball, it'll tell you how far you hit it. That's, that's great. There's a couple built-in games in it, which is also pretty cool. And with the newest version of this, the Plus model, there's also a tempo feature built in, which is really cool. So it will track you as you are swinging the club and it'll tell you what your tempo is. 
So the goal is generally get to the ratio between your backswing to your downswing between two to one and three to one. So if you've struggled with tempo and you've been looking for a device to help you with that, the fact it's built into this is pretty awesome because you can do it at home. You don't need to be hitting balls. And uh, as far as I know, it's the only launch monitor that has that built in. All right, now we're moving up a little bit. We're talking best golf launch monitor under $500. This is a bit of a tricky one because I don't have a single best golf launch monitor under $500. In fact, I've got three of them. And depending on what your goals are and what you think is most important, that will help dictate which one is right for you. So I'm gonna give a quick overview of all three of them and you can decide which one's gonna be the best fit for you. Okay, first up in the under $500 launch monitor category, we have the Rapsodo MLM. Uh, so if you're looking for the most feature heavy launch monitor under 500 bucks, this is the one I would go with. They've got a good app that takes a little bit of getting used to. It's not always the most user friendly, but there's a ton of features packed into this thing, specifically lateral data. So under $500, not very many launch monitors will tell you if you're slicing it or hooking it. This does. So when you're on the range, you can see an overview of where all your shots fall in the range. Not just the distances and not, not just how far they're going, but you can see it pinpointed all around the range. And this is the least expensive device that I would actually recommend that does that. To use it, they've also got kind of a unique design where you set it up like this, you put it behind you, and then you put your phone in there and your phone is the display. So you can look back and you can see exactly how far your shots are. You can customize the data that it gives you. And uh, generally it works pretty well. My issue with this is I haven't found it to be as accurate as some of the other launch monitors I've used. Uh, when it works, it tends to work really well, but it's missed a few shots for me and I don't always completely trust the data that's coming out of it. One thing that is cool is you can use your phone's camera and it'll record a bunch of your shots, but because the phone has to sit in here, you can't really adjust where you put the camera. So sometimes the framing isn't quite right. So overall, it's a pretty good device. My knocks on it are it's not as accurate as some of the others, and I don't personally like the, using the app as much as some of the other products. Uh, but for the price, you really can't beat it. And speaking of price, if you use the code BREAKING80, you're gonna save an extra 50 bucks if you buy one of these. Uh, there's a link down below where you can get all the information, and this feels like an appropriate time to tell you that uh, there are affiliate links. If you use the code, I will get a commission, uh, but I try and be as unbiased as possible. We don't take any sponsored posts. Nobody has paid me to say anything thing. This is all my actual findings from using these products myself. So take that for what it's worth. Um, if that bothers you, then don't use my code. Just go Google Rapsodo MLM and you can pick it up on your own. All right, next up is my pick for the most accurate device under $500, and that is the Flightscope Mevo. This also wins the award for tiniest launch monitor. This thing, like literally, you can toss it in your bag and lose it and completely forget it's there. It's that small. The big problem with this, and I'm just gonna say it right up front, is that it doesn't have lateral data. So for some of you, that will be a deal breaker. But for others, you're like, I just need to know how far I'm hitting it so I can dial in my numbers and I think that under 500 bucks this is the most accurate this is the one where I really trust the results the most and comparing it to my rangefinder distances on the range uh, this has got me the closest on the most consistent basis also if you happen to use an Apple watch the Flightscope app pairs with an Apple watch and works really really well so uh, one thing you'll notice is there is no display on this so you have to find a place to put your phone to look at it but if you're using an Apple watch you can literally just look down after you hit it you can see all the statistics statistics that you want to know. So just like all the other devices under $500, this is a Doppler radar based device. It measures eight different parameters, including carry distance, spin rate, club head speed, and a few others. So if you're really going for quality of information rather than quantity of information and features and social and all the stuff that some of the other products have, uh, this is the one I would go for. So I think this is probably for more serious golfers where accuracy is most important. Um, is it as accurate as some of the more expensive ones or is it going to be as accurate as a TrackMan? No, absolutely not. But compared to the Rapsodo or the next one that we're about to talk about, I think this is probably the most accurate of the bunch. Ah, and I almost forgot to mention, if you buy this through Flightscope, uh, use the code BREAKING8010 and uh, you'll get 10% off, which ends up being about 50 bucks. Um, just like the previous one, it's an affiliate link. I'm not going to keep saying that. Just know that if you use any of my codes, I will get a commission. If you're not cool with that, then uh, just go to the website without using the code. But it's, it worked. You save money and I make money. Like everybody wins. Everybody wins. So that's just my thought on that. Uh, by the way, uh, I've got reviews to most of these products. I've got all the links below. I've got some extra videos where I've compared some of these products. Uh, so if you're looking for more information, this is kind of the general overview video. If you're looking for more information on any of these products, check out everything below. And uh, we've got, uh, we go into a lot more detail. 
All right, the last one we're gonna talk about in the under $500 range doesn't fit into one of those nice little categories like most accurate or best features, but it's just a solid all around device. And that is the Voice Caddy SC300i. Uh, one of the things I love about this is it does have an app where you can uh, get some additional data points. Specifically, you can get spin rate in the app. Uh, and you can also use it to record video of yourself and save that. So if that's something that's important to you, you can do that with this, which you can't do with its younger sibling, the SC200. Uh, but also what I love about this is you can use the app or not use the app. So if you're warming up before you play and you don't want to fiddle with a bunch of stuff, you literally take this, you set it behind you, you get your distances, and that's all you need. Away you go. But if you want to really track a training session and have that information for long-term planning uh, and to see progress, then you can do all of that in the app. This one also comes with a remote control, which is really nice. So you want to tell the launch monitor what club you're hitting. So you just hit the button for 7-iron and away you go. This one doesn't have the lateral data like the Repsoto, and it measures six data points rather than the eight data points the flight scope mevo has uh, but like i said it has a screen it has a remote so as you'll kind of see depending on what your goals are all of these are great devices especially for the price you just kind of have to decide what's most important if you want to buy one of these i recommend you do it through playbetter.com that's actually where i've gotten a lot of the devices back here uh, honestly when it comes to cool golf tech stuff uh, there's no place i've found that has quite the selection as they do they have free shipping they have incredible support and overall i've just had a super positive interaction with them, so highly recommend uh, you check them out and you consider buying through them. Okay, next category, best launch monitor for most people. Uh, that is going to be the Garmin Approach R10. I've already done a number of videos about this, so if you want more information, I'll link to those below. But this device is awesome. It's a little bit more expensive than the other ones we just talked about. The retail price is $599, but it does pretty much everything well. Uh, this is the first one we talked about that can be used as a simulator. In fact, it comes with a license to E6. So that means you can use the E6 simulator software on your phone or your iPad and legit just play a full round of golf. One of the cool things about this is it also includes band and dunes in that. So you can literally in January in your garage in Kansas or wherever you live, play a full round of golf at band and dunes and that's pretty cool. One thing about this is it has a ton of different metrics it provides, including a bunch that are only usually available on much more expensive launch monitors. The caveat to that is that most of them are algorithm based. So I think this only measures like five or six things directly. And then from there, it uses its algorithm to make its best guess on things like, you know, lie angle and spin rate and things like that. That may be an issue for the scratch golfer that's really looking for accuracy. But in my experience, if you're literally just trying to set something up and start hitting balls as quickly as possible, this is often more accurate than some of the ones that are far more expensive we're going to talk about in a second. Those, once they're set up, are definitely more accurate than this, um, but you have to spend some time making sure all the settings are dialed in and things like that. Also, like I said, one of the parameters that I look for is fun. And I think that Garmin has done a really good job of building fun features and fun compatibility into this. So for instance, this is compatible with Awesome Golf, which is basically a pseudo simulator game platform that essentially just makes golf fun. Um, it's kind of more like a video game on the range, which is kind of cool. There's also a feature called Home Tee Hero, where you can literally play any golf course. You can go to the range, you can set it up, it'll give you an aerial view, you hit the ball, it'll tell you how far you hit it. Like, it's it's really a pretty cool deal. Um, it was one of the biggest surprises I had when I first reviewed this. So, for 600 bucks, I think this is probably the best one for most people if you want to get the most bang for your buck without spending a ton of money. The one problem with this is I'm recording this at the end of April, in 2022 and well they've been hard to come by they've literally been sold out for the last like four or five months i'm told in the next couple months that is going to change uh, but if you see this for sale anytime soon you should probably buy it because if you don't want it i guarantee one of your friends will Hey, real quick, is this video useful for you? Um, if so, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, this is a brand new YouTube channel. We've been reviewing products on Breaking80.com for a decade now, but uh, it's only been in the last month or two we've started doing videos like this. And so if you could hit subscribe, that would help us greatly as we're looking to grow our channel. Well, and if you think this video sucks, then I don't know, why are you, why are you still watching it? We're, we're ways into the video now. You can, you can turn away. If you, if you don't like me, no, I won't take offense. So it's all good. But if you are getting value out of this, a subscribe would be awesome. Thanks. Let's, uh, let's get to the last two. These are, we're getting into the big boys now. Now we're getting into uh, the real pseudo-professional launch monitors.
you may have seen this sitting back there. Now we're going with the most accurate launch monitor. And for that, we have the Bushnell Launch Pro. This thing, it's on a different level than anything else here. This thing is a beast. So a little while ago, Bushnell bought Foresight. So essentially, this is the exact same product. It's the, literally the exact same thing as the Foresight GC3, which costs $7,500 for like the full package. This costs $3,000. So for less than half the price, you are getting one of the most accurate launch monitors on the market. So unlike all of the other launch monitors we've talked about up to this point, the Launch Pro uses really fancy cameras to track the ball and get your statistics rather than Doppler radar. One of the cool things about that is the fact it works in much smaller spaces. So rather than putting it behind you like all these other ones, you put it to the side of you where the cameras can see you and you really only need about a two feet area to get accurate results. So if you've got relatively confined space in your garage or wherever you're using this at home, this can be a great option. So if accuracy is most important to you, then this is the one you want. This has blown away anything else I've tested uh, on the range. Like literally like everything is pinpoint accurate. This will also track putts. Um, so if you're thinking about using a device as a simulator, this is a great option. Uh, the Garmin R10 we mentioned before doesn't do a great job with the putting. Um, so if that's something that's important to you, then uh, it's something to keep in mind. So that being said, there are, uh, there are some drawbacks to this device. First off, it's big. It's big and heavy. It's got a nice handle here, so you can carry it around, you set on the range, but it's probably not the one you're like pulling out for your warm up session uh, before you go play a round of golf. Like it's definitely more of a process to carry this thing out with you. Um, also, like the whole setup thing and setting it up with the app and everything, it's, it's cumbersome. I had to call Bushnell support and it took a while for me to get it dialed in. Once I did, I was treated to a truly professional level launch monitor with unbelievably accurate results, but it took a little while to get there. The other caveat to this is there is a subscription. So the basic subscription is free for your first year. After that, it's $99 a year, but that honestly doesn't really get you anything. Um, if you want to unlock the more advanced parameters that this accurately measures, uh, you're gonna need to get one of their packages, which for the gold package, which kind of includes everything, it's $800 a year. If you're someone who doesn't like subscriptions, then you can pay right around $4,000 to unlock all of it right away which is still $500 cheaper than the equivalent GC3. So if you're thinking about really dropping some coin on a launch monitor, you're thinking about the GC3, I would maybe consider buying this one because you'll save 500 bucks just by unlocking it right away. Uh, also, you can test it out uh, with a subscription before committing to buying the whole thing. So you might do that, realize, you know what, that's not for me, and these things are hot. You will have no trouble reselling this if you decide you don't like it, but it's, it's pretty sweet. This is a, a really cool piece of tech, so definitely check it out. I also got this through playbetter.com. I know they've been doing a really good job of keeping them in stock and getting them out to people, so that's where I would consider buying it if uh, you get a chance to. Real quick, I'm just curious, drop a comment below as you're watching this. Tell me uh, which device you're thinking about buying and which ones you're trying to compare between, and I'll help out as best I can. I'd love to know which ones you're thinking about. And finally, we have what I think is the best overall launch monitor, and that is... The FlightScope Mevo Plus. Is it as accurate as the Bushnell Launch Pro? No, but it's super accurate and more accurate than any of the other ones we tested. Is it as fun as the Garmin? Eh, arguably. It has a lot of cool features that are built in. Um, the reason I like this so much is because it does a very good job of everything. Um, it has the professional level features at a more reasonable price. It's fun to use. It's accurate. It's portable. You can easily use it on the range. You can take it home and use it in your garage. It comes with E6 software as well, so you can use it as a simulator. And just recently, they made a few updates to this. Specifically, in a free upgrade, they added Fusion technology. So essentially what that means is it uses the Doppler radar system and the built-in camera to give you even more accurate results. Uh, previously, I think the only device FlightScope had that used the Fruit Fusion technology, I think the retail price on that is like $13,000. This is $2,000 retail. So to have those pro features that normally you would have to spend many times what this costs and get it in here is uh, pretty cool. 
Also, one cool thing I like about the Mevo Plus is they just recently released what they call the Pro Package. You buy this, it's an extra thousand dollars, but what that gets you is 20 different data parameters, uh, specifically the D-Plane suite of tools like Face to Path and Club Angle and things like that. Um, that's a lot of money. But that's essentially bringing you into like TrackMan full-on professional device territory. So for an extra thousand dollars, that brings the total cost of this to three thousand dollars, which is still a fraction of what you are paying for other devices that have similar tracking technology. This was honestly the first device I used that really felt professional. When you're using the app, it really feels like a professional tool as opposed to a consumer level tool. But what I like about it is it still has all the cool, fun consumer level stuff that make it enjoyable to use. So it's got the simulator software, it works with Awesome Golf, it's got the Flight Scope Skills app, which is basically just kind of a way to gamify being on the range. Uh, there's also multi-cam functionality. So if you're the kind of person that really likes to record your swing, this will actually allow you to record multiple angles at the same time and do that within the app. So basically, this is just kind of the device that does everything really, really well at a price that's, it's not cheap. I mean, it's two grand. And sometimes you can find discounts on that, but generally speaking, it's two grand, three grand if you want the pro package, but it does everything really well and is the first device that really is bridging that kind of consumer professional gap. So I highly recommend it. Honestly, I highly recommend all of the devices I just talked about. Uh, it really, going back to what we talked about in the beginning, it depends on what your needs are. What are you looking for? Accuracy, budget, fun, simulator. Depending on what you want and what combination of those things you want, there's going to be a different device for you. So these days, for most of my uses, this is the device that I'm gonna be pulling out. So there you go. That's my take on the best golf launch monitors on the market. Hopefully one of those is the right fit for you. And this video helped get you a little bit closer to making that purchase decision because I know it can be tricky figuring out what the best device is for your needs. My name's Sean Ogle. I'm the founder of this thing here at Breaking 80, where for the last decade, I've been reviewing cool golf products. And for the last like two months, I've been reviewing golf products via video. Like I said, this is a brand new channel. So if you got even a little bit of value out of this video, maybe uh, hit subscribe. Uh, that'll do us a huge favor as we are making more videos and trying to help you figure out what the best golf products are for you. Also run over to breaking80.com slash hi. There's a link below. Uh, that will get you on our newsletter where we have one email a week that basically is all of the coolest golf courses and golf product reviews on the internet for the average person. So if that sounds like you, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you're average, but like maybe not like a pro golfer, then you'll, you'll dig our newsletter. And if you don't, that that's cool. Unsubscribe, no hard feelings. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.